Hello, everybody, and welcome to this month's Bitward and Brilliance session. As you all know by now, Bitward and Brilliance are sessions that we take deep dives into various technical topics. And for today's topic, we're going to be going over SKIM, System of Cross Identity Management. So for our agenda today, we're going to talk a little bit about Bitwarden, talk about what SKIM is and how you can use it to make your day-to-day -day easier and more streamlined. We're going to configure SKIM and we're going to onboard some users and groups from your IDP and open it up to the floor for any questions you may have. So, of course, Bitwarden is secured with end-to-end -end zero knowledge encryption. We're completely open source, so you can feel free to review our code base on GitHub. We're easy to use, completely transparent, flexible in the deployment options that you'd like and synchronized across all your devices. So there is no cap of how many devices you can use Bitwarden on. Easily shareable and customer and community centric. And of course, we're available wherever you are, even with offline data, the desktop app for 30 days and the mobile app for 90 days since your last login for that offline access. So what is SKIM? System for Cross Identity Management, also known as SKIM, it can be used to provision and deprovision users and groups in your Bitwarden organization. Bitwarden provides you with a SKIM endpoint and a valid SKIM API key that accepts requests from your IDP for user group provisioning and deprovisioning. And we support integrations for Azure Active Directory, Okta, one login, and in today's use case, Jump Cloud is the one that we're going to be presenting on. Of course, you can review our help site for in-depth documentation of how to configure that for any of the aforementioned authorities. And some use cases, of course, are onboarding and offboarding those users, getting user and group associations, and integrating with the same IDP to even leverage single sign-on. So without further ado, Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to sign out of my web vault and sign back in. And we're going to head over to the organization, come in here to manage, and we're just going to enable Skim. We're just going to turn that on and hit save. So now Skim is successfully turned on and we can come into Jump Cloud. I'm already signed into my administrator account here. And the first thing we're going to want to do is create a new application. So we're just going to search for Bitwarden. We're going to configure that. We'll come in here and we're going to give it a name. We'll call it Bitwarden Skim. And we're just going to go ahead and activate this. So now that we've activated this, it's easy enough to come in here and configure under Identity Management. And it's going to ask us for that base URL and that token. So we take our Skim URL. We're going to pop that over into the base URL field. And then for the token key, of course, we want the skim API key. And we'll go ahead and activate that. So now we can see that identity management has been successfully verified. Now we want to bring on some users and groups. Currently, we don't have anything in here. If we come into our groups, we'll see we don't have any groups. We'll see we only have two users. So we'll come into Jump Cloud, and we're just going to say we want all of these groups. We'll go ahead and hit Save. So now, if I toggle back from Tools back to Settings to let the system reload, we're going to see we have three users that got sent invites. And then under Groups, we're going to see we have those same three groups from our identity provider. Just to verify here, all groups, uh, all users, sorry. Bitwarden admins and our networking team. And we can see we have all users, Bitwarden admins and the networking team. Opening that up, we can see the external ID that would match with our uh, Jump Cloud Authority. Same for the users. If we take a look at this test account, um, we would be able to see that that user was onboarded from the uh, authority. And checking into the event logs when items are kicked off from the unknown source that you, it means it was the IDP. We're going to have some additional logging coming out for that in the future. But we can see that some groups got created and some users were invited that line up with our Eastern timestamp of when we kicked that off. So unless there are any other 
questions or comments, uh, of course, offboarding works the same way. I would just come in here and I would remove one of the users from these groups or just remove the user from our identity management and that user would be deprovisioned. So that was Bitwarden Skim. Nice, easy, quick to implement. You can see that took us less than five minutes to get that configured and rolled out. Great way to onboard users and groups to take a better control of your Bitwarden integration. For more great tips and tricks on Bitwarden and how to leverage us to the greatest capabilities, be sure to tune in to our Bitwarden Brilliant sessions. And with that, thank you for your time.